everybody. Welcome back. So today we are going to do a ghost pour. Um, this is the one that I'm teaching tomorrow in my class. Today is October 11th. Um, so we are using some different materials, different paints today. We've got the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, which is this gorgeous color here. We've got the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics uh, Pewter, which is uh, this one right over here. And then we also have this Rustoleum Imagine Glitter. It's an intense glitter paint. And basically from what I can tell from it is it actually is going to dry opaque, um, dry clear, and then you're going to be able to see only the glitter. So I mixed some of that in with some uh, pouring medium, and then I added just a touch of the uh, this Deco Art Metallics Emperor's Gold to it, just to give us some color, but um, you can still really see the glitter in here. So um, mixture ratios were one ounce of pouring medium in each one of these cups, and then it was uh, 0.7 ounces of paint in the pewter, uh, 0.6 in, I'm sorry, to 0.5 in the cobalt, metallic cobalt blue, because this is such a thick paint. And then this one was um, 0.6 ounces of this intense glitter paint, and then about 0.2 ounces of this dazzling metallic emperor's gold. Our black is actually this. It is Color Place Interior Paint Onyx Black. It is a flat wall paint. And so we are going to see um, what happens trying to use different colors, um, different types of brands and all that kind of stuff. Another thing that I have found, so one of the reasons I don't use these heavy, heavy bodied um, Artist Loft paints a lot is because they are so thick and they do have a tendency to clump. But I found these little mini whisks on Amazon and um, they are fantastic. So when I put the paint in and I put the pouring medium in, I actually use this whisk to put it all together. And then um, I use a star stick to get to the consistency that I want. But I have found these little mini whisks are amazing. I think they came in a packet of like 12. I'll put a link down in the description of them on Amazon, but I found these for heavy body paints to be extremely, extremely helpful. So we are going to do the ghost swipe. Um, we're going to go down and then of course we're going to swipe down the middle. And we are going to use cardstock today, if I can find it, to get our swipe done. So I'm going to get everything moved out of the way. We are going to get reset. I'm going to get my music turned on and we are going to paint.
All right, we are done. Um, I brought my husband in here to tell me if I needed to stop, and he said stop. So, I'm stopping. Um, I'm really, really hoping that this is going to dry well. All of the glitter in there is beautiful already, so I'm just hoping when it dries that the black doesn't soak all that up. But um, we will find out in part two. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section, and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, also down in the description, links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. Um, there's also a link down there if you'd like to help sponsor my channel. That helps me get materials and stuff like this that we can do experiments with. And for the month of October, anybody who donates to my channel... Um, it's going to be put into a drawing to win this. It's an 11 by, um, 17, 11 by 17. Uh, this is a level one canvas. It was a Dutch pour and it has a Mandalay owl on it and it's all sealed together. The back will be finished. You will win this and also a coffee mug of my choice. Um, we will do the drawing, um, during the first video that we post in November. So again, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, I will see everybody in part two where we are going to get this sealed. And more than likely, we are going to put a coat of resin on this one. So I will see you all in part two. And as always, God bless.